Posture training requires exaggerated muscle movements to train our posture muscles. This includes tightening your buttocks as well as holding your yarn, tripod standing, shoulder rolls, chin tucks, breathing properly while holding this exaggerated posture, and several wall exercises. I discuss tripod standing in more detail in my ankle foot video, but here's a quick review. From this perspective, we generally land when we walk with this portion of our heel predominantly, then, we, then the forces move from the lateral posterior aspect of the foot and move forward towards the great toe. So that's the general movement of healthy walking. Land in this region and then the forces move towards the great toe. Several key points to notice on the foot. There's a tripod that has been observed in foot mechanics. You have your heel, the base of the fifth toe, and the base of the great toe. This tripod here, here, and here makes up of a nice triangle that provides dynamic support for when we walk, as well as when we stand. One way of, of assessing your tripod stance is to hold the toes up like this. This helps create an arch in your foot here and to balance on your foot and trying to get your weight evenly distributed on the great toe, fifth toe, and heel. Take some time to assess that, but that's a simple way of assessing and testing your ability to have tripod stance. These are the posture training exercises in the proper order. Start with each of them individually and then learn to put them all together. Butt tightening and hold the yarn. It's exactly what it says. Try to squeeze your butt and then try to squeeze the deep pelvic floor muscles, the same ones you would use to stop your yarn from flowing. These two actions help to put your hip into neutral position. Next is tripod standing, where you're balancing on the three points of each foot. Shoulder rolls, you turn your shoulders inward, outward, inward again, outward, then find a neutral position, keeping your hands open towards the front. Then finally, it's chin tucks, where you push your chin out, pull back in, it's as if you're making a double chin. And now from the side, here you tighten your buttocks and hold your urine. Next, tripod standing. And again, you can start to make these additive. You can start with the buttocks tightening, then the tripod standing, and then you add the shoulder rolls. And then you add the chin tucks. And this creates an exaggerated posture for which then you start to breathe, doing belly breathing, as we've shown in the previous videos, which now challenges your posture muscles to be able to hold itself during normal breathing. So again, the order is butt tightening, hold your urine, tripod standing, shoulder roll in, keep your hands pointed forward, chin tucks, make a second chin. Now, breathe properly while holding this posture. This means breathing predominantly from your belly. This is not necessarily an easy position to hold or to breathe from because we are exaggerating all of our movements. But this is a complex combination exercise because we're exercising both our posture muscles and our breathing muscles. Stand up against the wall, place your heels or your mid calf against the wall, whichever one you can touch. Then place your back of your hips against the wall. 
lay your shoulder blades against the wall and the back of your head. Do the best that you can to put your heels, the back of your hips, your shoulder blades, and the back of your head against the wall. Now, try to do some belly breathing. Do this for five to 10 breaths. As demonstrated in my instructional video on belly breathing, you can place one hand on your sternum, and one hand on your belly, so that you can monitor that your belly's moving out before your chest wall rises. Now holding this position, take your hands and your arms against the wall and raise them up without letting them lift off the wall. Go as high as you can until your wrists and your arms leave the wall and come back down. Then go back up again and keep trying to stretch out these muscles. If your posture is a little bit off, this may be difficult for you to do. That's the reason why it's a good exercise. Keep working at this. Try this 10 or 15 times uh, at a go, keeping your heels and your hips and your shoulder blades and your head against the wall. Then you're raising your hands and arms as they stay along the wall as high as you can. Over time, you might find yourself being able to raise your arms higher and higher as your tissues loosen up.